it's really hard to pick like one th- like the biggest thing I appreciate about Mel um I'd say like one of the main things is just how fun she is like every time I'm with her I instantly feel calmer I'm instantly happier just because she just has this like kind of goofy fun amazing aura about her that as soon as we're in the same room together we're just like kids and it's 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 amazing like I just feel I just feel like instantly there's a weight off my chest and she just has that effect on people I feel like anyone when they talk to her they can just open up completely because she's just such a good listener and she's just so calm and she's so carefree and it's it's really amazing and then also just her kindness her drive in everything that she does she puts in so much work and with people as well she's so kind she's so dedicated when it comes to people she always wants to do the best for people she's just she's a really really caring and positive person thomas is the light in any room i go into like he's got this optimism that i wish i could bottle uh, is his positivity is just so infectious. He's the most patient and strong-minded, calm person that I know. And being with him and being around him, it's like being hugged at all times with this kind of sense of everything's going to be okay, you know? Like he doesn't take Anton too seriously. He's always up for a laugh. And uh, he really balances me out. If I was like fire, he'd be water, you know? And I, I really appreciate all of this about him. It's like his energy, his his overall vibe. It's just so wonderful. So one thing I didn't expect about Melanie is just how, how strong she is. Like we've been through like really amazing times in our relationship, but obviously like any relationship, we've had hard times as well. And even during the hardest parts of our relationship, she still showed up every time. She never gave up on us, and neither did I. Because for years, I only knew him as like that vegetarian, happy-go-lucky friend of mine who liked emo music and being a big flirt. And uh, getting to know him, I realized how capable he is of really deep conversation and how knowledgeable he is about certain things that I don't have a clue about. I think everything about Thomas will make him such an amazing dad. He's affectionate and he's protective. He's trustworthy. He's respectful. He's fun. Um, I think because he had such amazing parents himself, he's like learned from the best. And I, I know he's going to pass on all of those amazing things to our baby and to all of our children. And they're going to be so lucky to have him. Like, he's like dream dad. (laughs) Even without children, he is a dad. (laughs) One way she's going to be an amazing mother is just she's she's capable of being a complete child in just the the best way possible. Um, Like, we both, as I said, we both have so much fun together. And she makes even the most mundane tasks seem enjoyable. So I feel like the kids are going to love that. And uh, then uh, also just how hardworking she is, and she's and she's so loving as well. And I feel like she'll instill those qualities in our kids. Like we're because of her, we're gonna have very, I think, hardworking and empathetic children that will will care about other people just because they've seen their mom doing it. And like that really excites me that like I'm gonna have kids that are like her because I'd be really have proud to have kids that are like Melanie. I only really want two things for our child. I want them to feel completely loved and I want them to have resilience. I think love brings with it a feeling of safety where, you know, with your parents, like you can talk about anything and resilience will give them that ability to like have the strength to be a good person in spite of all of the injustices in the world. And uh, I think that's going to be a challenge to instill that in a small, tiny human being. But I am so ready for it. And that, that that would be the best gift I could give to them. If our kid or our kids can have a childhood like my parents gave me, I'd be delighted. Because I had, I had a really happy childhood. And I really look to them in terms of how what kind of parenting style I'm going to have. 
and they were both really amazing parents so if I can do half as good a job as they did I'd be I'd be really happy so like if if the child is just grows up happy and put together I'll be delighted so I want them to have a, a sense of I want our kids to be capable of giving themselves a sense of fulfillment and not have that handed to them um, but the main thing is the, the happiness <laughs> If I could say anything to our baby right now, I'd probably say, can you believe how young we look in this video? <laughs> but no, really, I'd, I'd just say, be kind. That's it, like, just be kind. Health and happiness come so much easier when you can be kind to other people, obviously, but, but to yourself. Just focus on kindness always, and you can't go wrong. If I could say something to the child right now, I, I don't know, I, it'd probably be a million things like, are you a boy or a girl? We don't know. <laughs> um, how many brothers and sisters are you going to have? Hopefully a lot. <laughs> um, you know, like, what what are your interests? What are your hobbies? What, what makes you tick? Like, I know nothing about you. And that's really scary and really exciting at the same time that you're right now you're just this imaginary life that's growing in Melanie's belly every day um I haven't even been to one of your scans yet because the coronavirus says I'm not allowed to be in the room while <laughs> Melanie's getting any of the scans so I haven't even been there to see you on the screen live I've just been able to watch it on my phone later so right now what you are is just a complete blank slate to me and that's really really mind-blowing um so i don't know what i'd say to you i hope you're well i hope i hope you're you're happy with the job i did raising you <laughs> um yeah i don't know, I don't know what those do you are say great answers those are great great things to say yeah